The Love Talk Show on Liberty Radio. And you, Shalika, you were telling me that you're not single, you're not valuable. Available. Available anymore, right? Because you are talking to someone, you are dating, right? No, I mean, you're talking. Getting to know someone, not dating yet. Just speaking to someone, yes? yes? And can you tell us a little bit how how did you meet this person? Uh, We have a mutual friend. Okay. Um, And she just, she spoke to her, she messaged both of us because she thought that we would be compatible. And um, there was a singles hour that was a few days later. So she just told us both to come to the singles hour. And we spoke in singles hour (laughs) for the first time. So you met at singles hours. And he's from which branch? Catford. He's from Catford. So a friend of yours invited you. Encourage you to come to the singles hours yes, and also encourage him to come. So it was a setup in yeah. the singles hours. <laughs> it was a setup in the singles hours. And how did it go? How, how was this experience in the singles hours to speak to him and start the talking? How did you come to this decision? Let us know the singles are, uh, they, they want to know. Because. Yeah. Because they don't come to the singles hour, right? Especially the guys. Yeah, some people and say, ah, uh, it works. <laughs> uh, I go to the singles hours, I can't, I can't find anyone. But actually, actually, I've heard a lot of testimonies about the singles hours. Yeah, me too. Not many people want to give the testimony. They don't want to share. They don't want to talk about it. Maybe it's too recent. But uh, these weeks, I've met some people. Some people, they have started talking in the singles hours. So it works, and it worked for you, right? How long was this ago? Uh, about two and a half months. Two and a half months. Yes. And so how did it go? Tell us your experience, Shalika. Um, so we started talking, I think, naturally. It was a bit awkward at the start because we didn't know each other. But um, we were just asking each other different questions about our lives, um, things like how long have we been in the church. Um, so we just sort of started going from there. I think the conversation went quite well. So what did you talk about again? Uh, so we spoke about um, things like our branch, so how long we've been in the church, um, mm. how long we've been in the assistant, and then I think just general stuff like um, what we do for work. Um, Very well. Interests, likes and dislikes. What do you like? What yeah. do you, yes, you spoke about work, you spoke about the church, what do you do, spoke about likes. Yeah. And, and after the singles hours, that's when you decided to keep talking. Yes, Pastor. The first day you met him, you already decided to, to talk. To continue. Yeah. To getting continue to know each other. Getting to know each other. Yeah. When we, well, me and my sister came to the church, it was like, okay, this is where we can actually find happiness and peace and how the situation can change. Did your parents come as well? Um, my parents didn't come, um, but I... I first came to fight for them until I kind of realized, okay, first I need to fight for myself. So when I realized I need to fight for myself, that's when um, I started fighting um, for my own salvation first. Are they, are they together, your parents or? Um, no, they're not currently um, together. Um, my dad remarried. Um, but I can say now there is like peace in in our in our family. There's not that same tension how it was before. Um, obviously, like my family is not perfect. You know, we still have things we need to work on. But compared to how it was when I before I came to the church, and now it's completely different. I grew up with just my mum, and yeah, I had a similar background. I didn't grow up with two parents. Okay, and. Yeah, just... You never saw your father, you never, I mean, never saw your father at home? So my father, he was around, but he was in another household. So right. I didn't have that that communication with him right. all the time. And yeah, we had quite a difficult relationship because my mum wasn't always with him. And yeah, and yeah, I'm here today. And I've learned a lot from their relationship, but not going off looking at my family. Um, I've learned a lot just coming to the church and 
just learning from other relationships in my family. What are you looking for in a woman of God? So I'd say one of the first thing is character because it's important that the woman of God that I'm looking for or the woman of God that I'm looking to talk to is not someone that is just an ordinary person that I can find outside in the street, but it's someone that has character, someone that has qualities that I can differentiate from other women around the world. So that's a big thing. What about like personality okay. wise? Personality is important. Mm -hmm. Personality is important. <laughs> He what wants kind some, of what kind? Of, like he, he wants someone that has uh, extrovert or introvert. Or introvert. Or I, I wouldn't say that's a huge issue. I would say she can be an introvert or an extrovert, but as long as she knows when to speak, she knows when it's time for her to talk, and as long as she knows the time for things, I'd say that alone it will call my attention. And personally, I like quiet people. I like okay. quiet people. That's just me. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and you? Um, I would say like someone that's like really creative, like that's always like thinking of like new ideas and new things that we can do or new ways to do things better. Mm. Um, that's important. Um, someone that. Um, would compliment me as well because um like i said before at times i can be very introvert and i like my own space so maybe someone that can be more extrovert and kind of bring me um well encourage me to come out of my shell more not like in a bugging annoying way but just like um someone that will com compliment um, yeah. in that, in that as that's well what ha that's what happened to me right I was very into myself, liked my space. I was very, I was more serious, and he was like completely the opposite of me. And then today, people say, "Oh, you're, you're, you've changed a lot since you got married. You know, you're you're so like friendly and bubbly, and you talk a lot more." But this happens, so it's good. So yeah. if you find someone that is exactly like you, it, it, it can get a little bit boring. Like you see, he's an extrovert, but he wants a woman that's maybe a little bit more quiet. So Definitely. Each other, right? Yes, so nice. you help each other. You mm. learn with each other, right? Okay. And in you, let me ask you, <laughs> what qualities? How long you been talking uh, to two and a half months. this person? Two and, a half months. two and a half months. Okay. Do people know who he is? Yeah. People know. Yeah. Yes. No, we're making this public. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what is it? Something that you really like in him? Um, in these two months, what have you seen that you really like? Uh, well, there's a few things. Um, <laughs> I think one thing is that um, he's quite driven. He's a driven person, so he, he's quite ambitious. He knows what he wants. Um, mm -hmm. Decided. Yeah. Um, another thing is family orientated. Cause I think mm. I'm quite a family orientated person. So, like, when I'm thinking about my future, that's kind of something that I would want in someone. That is someone who's like they. That they're, they're good with their family. And you found that in him, yes? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. The Love Talk Show on Liberty Radio.